okay, so Physicist wanted me to play this about almost a month ago. Like, no one gifted me the game because you can actually get this on Steam for free. So this is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Physicist wanted me to play this for quite some time now, and I finally figured out how to set this up. This is like the fact that this game forces itself into full screen no matter what I do. And on top of that, it doesn't actually let me control my mouse outside the game, so... It was a little bit tricky actually setting this up so I could record the gameplay with OBS, but I found a way. So let's start the game. So if this is said, this is a game that presents one thing, but... It, it makes you think you know how you're playing the game, but it then just throws you a total curveball. So apparently I'm supposed to design a pizzeria, and this gets scary. I mean, I'm under the assumption this is also from the Five Nights at Freddy's series. I'll just leave it like this. Go to pizzeria. Okay, round one. Oh, shift. I was hitting control. Wait, is this it? Ooh, 100 points. Am I supposed to kill people by throwing pizza in their face? That's what it looks like. Okay, I can use, like, the right shift. That's actually more convenient. And then just move around my left hand. And sh right shift on my right hand for the pizzas. Oh, so this Freddy Fazbear clone is supposed to just block off the pizzas I'm throwing? Now I see. Yeah, but he pretty much moves himself wherever I move to, so this is kind of tricky, with him just constantly getting in the way here. Okay, I can literally hit these guys in the feet with the pizza and they'll still end up eating it. Now this guy just won't get out of the way. Okay, now what? Okay, what's going on now? I don't know if I'm supposed to keep on pressing more buttons. Okay, now I can move my mouse. Suddenly. Okay, so now what? <laughs> What's gonna happen next? <sighs> no, really, what's supposed to come next? I'm just scared, like, I'm gonna get jump scared if I click anything. <laughs> I'm trying to just use all the buttons I was using before, and well... Oh, something just happened. Okay, I moved my mouse down here, and that that's how it happened. Employees only, paragraph four. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. What does this have to do with pizza now? If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. What? Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Do I actually have to follow the instructions on this tape? Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. God, my ears, though. Okay, I just 
literally ticked all of these boxes. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Okay, that's, that thing is still there. Begin audio prompt. Okay, what do I even do here? In three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Okay. My mouse just moved on its own now. <laughs> okay, what's the prompt next? It's oh. a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble do that. on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. In some cases. What are we talking about? Ass. We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but I everyone's don't doing get it, this. and that means it's safe and lucrative. I don't get With it. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need but to I get started, see more of this. including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. <laughs> Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there oh are my. steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to Cutting corners. liability. Tell that to the Being people who made the Being a thrifty shopper down. is smart, Tell that but be Ford. aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Yeah, what if that of something course, is that just the fact that your car could explode by if itself? If there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Yeah, that was Remember, the thing, the Pinto. you are now the face Cut of the corners, newly rebranded which Freddy made the Pinto a death pizza. trap for, like, Wear that smile the with wrong pride, people. and let's make some money. Fazbear yeah, the is not car malfunction had basically turned into a death trap. How to a two-step guide to restaurant management, so... We're not throwing pizzas at characters anymore. Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. Guess I have to click that. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's really? get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled A Blueprint ball mode pit? to place your items. You can switch Liability back and risk forth between one. catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. 
When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. <laughs> Worst case scenario, if my restaurant goes down under, I could offer well, like one lucky customer an extra hour in the discount ball pit. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do if I go down under. You can spend extra time in the ball pit. Colorful cups and plates. Oh, uh, that's not my budget currently. I mean, I could buy it, but I already have cups and plates. Sage for one light animatronic. That's out of my budget. That's out of my budget too. A cooling unit? That's a fan. A, du <laughs> a duck pond. <laughs> Bucket Bob. <laughs> Mr. Can Do. <laughs> Mr. Hugs. <laughs> Number one crate. Pan stand. Oh, I could buy these guys. Let's do that. I'm guessing if I don't have the stage, then I can't put the paper pals down. What's Stan's budget tech? Oh, I guess I can. Okay, I can only just buy this cheap stuff for now. Yeah, now the duck pond's sadly out of my budget. <laughs> Give me the fan. Alright, so how do I place everything down here? <laughs> okay, this stuff literally just got- everything got placed by itself. Ooh, okay. It's time pop soda. Accept a sponsorship. Upgrade this room to a larger floor plan, maybe later. Okay, maybe I can die buy that duck pond. I just unlocked. Yeah, there's some more stuff I can buy. Holy shit, that's expensive. Oh, that looks like a Pac-Man ripoff right there. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a Pac-Man clone. Looks like they ripped off Pac-Man, so I'm buying it. <laughs> Alright, so how's it looking like? Straps on a ball pit? What? Oh, there's one risk associated with my ball pit. Apparently there's risk associated with it. Oh, I can apparently play test the duck pond, so let's do that. Alright, so it works. As if I had any doubts about a duck pond working. <laughs> okay, I can just play it again. Alright. I got more money for just playing the duck pond well. Play test. Fruity maze. Okay, what is that in the background that's looking at me? See okay. Is that supposed to scare me? Oh, 
Oh, I still have 30 seconds. I just noticed. Is it supposed to do that? Okay, I guess I'm kind of getting used to it now. Oh, the magnet. Can I try and get to that? I want to see what that does. Might not make it, though. <laughs> Never mind, this doesn't look like that much like Pac-Man. There's no ghosts. Are half my games gonna be haunted or something? Alright, 495 points it is. Coin slot, 100 bucks. Coin slot to a ball pit? How does that work? Oh, apparently I only have seven play tokens. Am I just gonna keep on losing them? Yeah, apparently so. Oh, this should be simple enough. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sounds like he literally just broke his back and died. Oh no, I fucked up again. <laughs> We're just literally hurting this poor guy here. Trying to just get him to land the ball pit. <laughs> That's not even close. 400 points. I guess out of a possible thousand. Oh, I got more money. Oh, so I see. That's the risk. People are diving off a diving board into that ball pit. That's just literally balls on a cardboard box. Now I see the risk factor. <laughs> yeah, if you're diving off a diving board, then I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that with their ball pit. <laughs> Since I kind of like watching this guy just fall flat on his ass, I'm going to play this again. Oh, perfect. That was almost right in the middle. Okay, that was probably right in the center there. Uh, still pretty good. Still landed in. Oh, it's still going to land it. Five in a row? Oh, yeah, five in a row. <sighs> and I got more money for that. Oh, really? What's the point of adding a coin slot to a ball pit? <laughs> Also, how do you put a coin slot in the side of an inflatable pool? If you try and put a slot in that, you're just gonna, like, break it. <laughs> I mean, coin slot on this arcade machine makes sense, but nothing else, really. And I'm apparently just making money playing the games I've bought. So I can buy a balloon barrel now. <laughs> oh, is there a better ball pet in here? <laughs> Oh, there's some nice lights. The traffic light. Happy Frog. <laughs> Mr. Hippo. Ned Bear. Pig Patch. Oh, damn. I think I just upgraded my cups and plates. Yeah, I might as well upgrade them. Oh, I can get Bucket Bob now. Alright, let's take Bucket Bob. <laughs> Alright, there he is. I'm gonna need, a, like, a bigger restaurant soon. Okay, what if I hit finish? What's gonna happen? What if I open it? What's gonna happen? 
Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do. That's while basically the beginning, isn't pizza it? In the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. What's a motion? Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs. Oh my God, an ad. Petty cash. Oh, this is because I sponsored them. Coming out of your pocket. We've oh, got I you sponsored. Covered. The only the money company. you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is so that the I not take in the money and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most to likely prevent music. anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, oh, that you looks can like things only that have, have to be one done of here. these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. What did I just do? Something's starting to tell me we need a better computer. Order plates. Oh, I just have to literally click these tasks and they're gonna be done? Okay, I'm still playing music apparently in other rooms. Okay. I just never know what's gonna happen when I click each of these. Yeah, if I wanted some napkins in real life, I'd just go to the dollar store and buy them. I wouldn't just sit myself in this room and just click these buttons because something definitely feels off with this computer. Yeah, all of this equipment sounds like it needs to be replaced. Maybe that's why I'm getting stuff for cheap. Yeah, it definitely sounds like I'm working with a tight budget. <laughs> My printer's old, but it doesn't make these kinds of noises. What was this tab again? Activate motion scanning. I guess so. Okay, so are the toilets literally just going to unclog themselves? Apparently so. Holy shit. There's two vents, and looks like just about anything could be in them at any time. Yeah, I want to get back to this here. <sighs> okay, what am I supposed to do if something in one of the vents is trying to kill me? <laughs> okay, so this is probably the left room. And that's the room to my right. I'm gonna play music in the room there. <laughs> Whatever. Silent ventilation.
Oh no, did I lose? Game over? Wait, is it actually over? Or is there still more to do? Is that actually the end of the game? Warning, this game contains loud noises, flashing lights, and maybe a few- Oh! Oh, now! Oh, thank you for now mentioning that! And... Lots... Of... Oh, thank you for mentioning the jump scares now! And lots of fun... 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 Pizzeria simulator. Press enter. Okay, what if I press continue? Okay, it still seems to be going. I have $215. Okay, I still have all my items. It's not like I lost anything. Yeah, it doesn't appear I lost anything, but what I do wrong is just get the game over screen. This restaurant is still in the exact same shape I left it earlier. Your restaurant is now officially open. Again. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do. I gotta repeat all this again now, don't I? The other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy. Okay, I'm just gonna go and faster to before. Once you've taken I get attacked of all the by the animatronic list, again. You can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about I it. I have to just actually money. not be too we slow, right? The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade. I'm gonna go as fast as possible and hope for the best. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you think that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. I Simply see. log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. I'm just gonna try and go as fast as possible now. See if that'll at least work. So I have to do everything again. So everything I did the first time literally doesn't count. Alright, it's not showing anything with the motion detection. Okay, so if I tab over to this, then this task, like, just stops working. I'm tempted to just half-ass it and get out of here, leaving one of the tasks not completed. I mean, if I'm literally gonna get killed trying to do my job, then is it really worth it? Oh, I have to finish it. Only then will the logout button show. <laughs> Hurry up. 
Great job. It looks like you're getting there the hang go. of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view oh, no, that day as your ultimate test. Oh, Make no. it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to stay alive during that day. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. I know. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. <laughs> Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of okay. course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is, is it your this? job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage, or if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. 500 if I keep it. And if I throw it away, I throw away $500. I don't know if that was the don't right choice. Saturday. We'll see. You want them all to be in one place. Oh, of course. New lawsuits. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Yay! A better party set. Really good speakers. Another arcade machine I just got, okay. Better stage. Oh, candy cadet. <laughs> item condition terrible. Purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a significant risk of something undesirable hidden inside. Forty-six dollars down from two thirty. <laughs> gonna unlock this tier of viables. Atmosphere 8. <laughs> the traffic light. Can I just expand the floor plan? Okay, I got a bigger room now. Oh, it's another sponsorship offer. Do I want to take it? Oh, that is significantly bigger. Okay. So I can install this here and give it a go. So, what do I want to do here? Besides not crashing these cars. Okay, so it's basically another game within the game. I see. 
So do I want to just go as fast as possible and get as many points as possible? Probably. Every time I crash into something, I slow back down and thus lose the potential for more points. Oh, I see how this works. I totally see. Alright, lap three. What's with some of these people just... Oh, because they're on the other side of the road. No wonder they're driving the other way. Now I see. I'm the one who's on the wrong side of the road. Oh, what was down there? I just missed something down there. Looks like I might have missed something at the bottom of the screen. I don't know. Oh, sweet, more money. What else should I buy, if anything? Oh, I can put a... I can play test this, too. Okay, how do I play this? <laughs> Did I just win the game by taking a balloon? Is that it? Just press space. And another hundred dollars. Oh, another sponsorship offer. Some more, some more money if I just accept this sponsor. Do I need the money though? Well, it looks like it's been done. <laughs> what else can I buy? Okay, better speakers. I still honestly kind of want to buy this, just to see if that actually makes me lose the game. <laughs> just because I try and save, like, not even $200. Yeah, I want to see if that actually causes me to lose the game. Oh, there's a new catalog. Oh my. Marked down. Risk of something hiding inside. <laughs> it's really marked down, but... The risk of something hiding inside, though. Oh, oh, yes! Another ball pit! A ladder tower. Carnival hoops. I'd love to get those. Rockets. A lemonade clown. Fruit punch clown. A discounted jukebox, again, with the risk of something hiding inside it. Medical stations. Although, in case whatever's in hiding in the jukebox tries to kill me. Yeah, this is in case whatever's hiding in this seriously injures you. <laughs> Rockstar Freddy. <laughs> 2,000 bucks. Rockstar Bonnie. 2,000 bucks also. Rockstar Chica. Rockstar Foxy. Oh, that's even more expensive. Oh my. <laughs> Never seen a Rockstar with... Okay, Morocco. I was about to say tambourines, but those are not tambourines. <laughs> Microphone, guitar, maracas. <laughs> Accordion. And then there's the rare finds tab. <laughs> so tempted to buy this, but nah. Only thing I can afford from this tab, and there's a possibility whatever's in it could actually kill me. I'll be upgrading this right away. Okay, I just put that down and I can apparently play it. I can play with it. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day. Every day. <laughs> candy. 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 Alright, let's get ready. Return to candy cadet again. And maybe I will tell you a story. I won just by pressing one button again. Return, I might tell you a story. I am a candy cadet. 
Come get your candy here. Let's try that. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. I think I'll try one more time. <laughs> I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. Maybe. Okay, maybe I can actually buy myself one more thing. With the money I'm making just from playing my games that I have. Okay, I could buy this now if I want. That's marked down. Do I dare take the jukebox with something possibly hiding inside it? Slight risk. Slight risk. Only slight. Medical stations. Security doors. <laughs> We're going in. Alright, so where's the juke? Oh, there it is. Alright, we're going in. <laughs> what if I click finish? What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh no, this again. What do I just do by pressing X? Okay, apparently I just turned off my computer. Can I turn it back on, though? Yeah, I can apparently turn off some of these things to just... I don't know, like, make it less likely I'm gonna get, like, a game over again. Yeah, I can turn my computer off so it makes less noise, if I want. What's the point of playing music, though? I can't believe I gotta do this again. 98... 90, 102 degrees in my room? I have to turn the fans back on. Yeah, if I leave those off for too long, I guess I get heat stroke and die from that. And then I game over anyways. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking forward to the next jump scare, should I fail this again, this task, or series of. Okay, once this gets... Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I took that sponsorship until just now. Alright, I took that sponsorship for 500 bucks. And it can just, like, basically prevent me from doing anything for four seconds. Uh-oh. Skip! 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 I might have to just, like, give them my money back at this point. I might have to just hand my money back to these guys at this rate. I could have just almost, like, started dying a heat stroke because Marty had to remind me about his plungers. Or was it Foxy with the soda? <laughs> Thanks!
Marty! We owe you one! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Marty! Oh, fuck you, Marty. Okay, where were we last? Here. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, I can't believe I had to just do this again here. And of course, I have. Oh, it was fist time, not Foxy, whatever. I don't know, in case I get another ad. <laughs> I hope that's not just gonna make me lose all of these attempts at doing these tasks. I don't, I don't know if I was supposed to give them permission to literally hijack into my computer at random intervals, these advertisers. Because that's apparently what I did without even knowing it. <sighs> yeah, I have to restart this task because of the ad. something. Probably have to turn the fans back on soon. <sighs> How am I supposed to do this? How am I gonna get this done, even? I got, like, halfway through my tasks, and, again, whatever animatronic that is just jump-scared me, and I got a game over. Unless I'm really not trying hard enough to get her done. Can I maybe buy something else for my restaurant? I guess I'll play some more games for money. <laughs> I love how the music just literally stops <laughs> as soon as this animatronic cracks his back. Landed literally right next to the ball pit. Still, who in the right mind actually jumps off a diving board into a ball pit anyways? Am I just gonna use up all my play tokens and not really get any money back at this rate? Oh, there's some at least. Oh, 500. That's good.
bet I'm not getting any money back for getting rid of that. Right. Am I just gonna get like an easy hundred dollars here? If so, then we'll try this again. Yep, probably. Maybe. Never mind. Yep, I'm out of tokens. I won't be getting the medical stations then. I'll get one of these then. Oh, there it is off in the corner. See what else I can maybe buy. <laughs> I can't afford any of this, it seems. Okay, now these are marked down to like one dollar. One dollar, that's cheap. Nothing else I really see myself buying here, personally. <laughs> yeah, so how am I going to finish this off here? How am I gonna get this done? Cause I don't even know if going as fast as possible does the trick. Too late. Yeah, so now I know how the motion scanning works. Yeah, now I see how that works. Just a little too late, though. Yeah, now I see. Have to reactivate it, of course. What if it does get too hot? What's the game over sequence gonna look like if it gets too hot in the room? I guess we're not gonna find out. I'm gonna turn the like fans back on.
There's something in that tunnel. If I just stare down at the light, it's not gonna come after me, right? So did it just go some other way? Hopefully it just went the other way. I'm just gonna keep on checking this over and over. I don't know what else to do. Not sure what else I should do to just not lose over and over again. Alright, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, something on the left side again. I'll just stare it down, hopefully it's gonna go away. actually get it this time. I hope I found a strategy that actually works. <sighs> Three more tasks and then I can get out of here, I think. Then I can get out of here after three more tasks. Okay, I have to just check. Oh, cool. Two more left. Oh, there's an equipment tab, or does it like, is there nothing necessary there? Come on, hurry up. I might have this. Okay, I think I found a strategy to beat this. <laughs> Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are Another unsure one. of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Why does it or, look like Freddy Fazbear there, to, this one? You can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. <laughs> I'm gonna throw us away again. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. Is that gonna come soon or no? Lawsuits. Oh, zero still. <sighs> Probably just gonna avoid this. Mark down now, there could maybe be something undesirable hiding inside. Security doors. Oh my, that's an expensive balloon cart. Confetti tile floor, $5,000. Where are you gonna get this money? Oh, really good ball pit. Disco pizza light. Oh my. A party set. Gravity vortex. More animatronics, a prize king, a 
$12,000 security puppets. <laughs> Lefty. $5? Wait, that's the animatron that keeps killing me when I'm trying to just do my tasks, right? Why don't I just suddenly buy it? If I have to pretty much avoid that, why don't I suddenly buy it? So that's who keeps on making me lose when I'm trying to do my tasks. Oh, there's a security door. No thanks. Oh, I got some more play tokens, nice. Just, I guess I can just put this back. Okay, I could just continue from here later, right? I could just continue from this point onwards in another sitting, right? 